welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. There are multiple ways to play this game. There is. However, we can take a gameplay to the next level by doing one thing. Thinking. I know. It's crazy. You're probably saying, but Jet, don't players think all the time? Yeah, they do. About what weapon should I take out to wipe the lobby with? Or, in Rainpoke's case, which exit... Hold on, let me... Hold, pause, pause, pause. When I was a Raincoat, what was the first thing I thought of? Oh, yeah. Getting all the POIs on my map checked off. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Now, if you come to my channel and you watch my videos, you'll see that I add a whole other layer onto how I play the game. And that's thinking. So in this gameplay, I'm going to show you and tell you what I'm thinking as it's happening. Because I can remember this gameplay like the back of my hand. Yeah, it was that recent. Seven days ago, from the day of this recording, but it was that recent. So number one, I spawn up here. There is two people that spawn in front of me. One on this side of the gun emplacement and one on the other side. I come over here because this side has less cover. That's what I believe. And so I'm running to catch the guy who was about to come up here. Before you ask the question of, Jet, how would you know he was going to go backwards like that? You see that very obvious intermodal shipping container with weapons in it? Yeah, that attracts any and everybody. Don't even matter if they have a meta 249 on their hands. They'll still run toward it. Also, a comm station's up there as well. So why wouldn't he go up this way? Why wouldn't he? Speaking of comm stations, I believe I'm about to use, use one myself. Now, like I said, two people. So as I enter this gun emplacement, I'm going to have my bugle in my hand. Because if I hear somebody above me, then that just means I can just go up there and see bottom. But I don't hear anything, so I'm going to move forward. I'm going to go deeper into the map. Look behind me, make sure I'm not being followed, and I keep running. I keep running. I keep running. Check the map real quick, I believe. No, I'm gonna check that car park because somebody spawns back behind a car park as well, and they still could have been looting it. You never know until you hear them. Then this happens.
I bet you're wondering, how did I see that one person in that bush? Or on the ground, outside the entrance, or next to the entrance to this gun emplacement? How did I see them? Colors. That raincoat's kind of bright. A little bit. That's all I saw. Also, their face gave him away as well. Now here's something I'm going to tell you right now that you may get mad at me for. And I don't blame you. But I also have an H bar T on my back, so I really don't fucking care. Um, that person outside, I'm never going to loot them. I forgot to. Spoiler alert. I forgot to loot them. Now, onwards and upwards, check the truck. See, it's already been looted. So I'm thinking, someone else has a PSD in their hands. And I'll check my inventory and I find I don't got a transmitter. Well, shit. Now, I'm gonna run down here because I believe, wait a minute, hold on. That was a whole nother LMG shot, I believe. I'm gonna run down here. And there you go. That LMG shot was for the container. Somebody was up there the entire time. I just didn't hear them. Instead, I come down here for this conversation. Make it overweight. Okay, cool. Now, how many times am I gonna, am I gonna say the word now? I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need to stop saying that. I'm gonna run, not really run. I'm gonna recover stamina and walk toward the container. Not with the intent of going straight for it. With the intent of catching the guy with the M249 walking away from it visually. I'm not running toward the container. Toward the container. I'm running to a spot where I can watch the paths going out from the container. You understand the difference? Now, I, I said now again. Check this house. Don't hear anything. Remember that house, people. Remember that house. There's a detector. Am I going to use it? Or am I going to worry about the guy with the M249 who is very clearly on this side of the map? Y'all know me. I'm a creature of stealth. So I'm going to check my inventory real quick and realize I don't have a radiation grenade. Shit. I'm going to watch this area and try to catch anybody with my eyes walking away from the container. The air chop is about to fall. Going prone, I'm watching, waiting for some shadows, anything. Grab the food, because you know how much I love food. Watch the area. Watch the area. Listen. Listen. Grab some more food. Do I hear something from my right ear? I'll look this way. That's the actual airdrop landing. Now, if I were him, I would go for the airdrop. If I were him. But maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe a PSD was in the container. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I do got a transmitter. My dumbass. I'll place it right here. Since this is Vigor Season 12.1... I will know if he uses his PSD to detect that transmitter. With that being said, I can hit this detector right here for free. Assuming nobody else is behind me. I'm going to use it. Head down here. Take cover. Wait a minute. I just passed that house. What the fuck? Okay. And there's somebody else running up the map. So I have a bit of a moment here and I think to myself, who is a more easier target? A guy out in the open that is over here somewhere, but I don't know which way he's headed. Or somebody in this house that can shoot through wood and headshot them. I'm going to go for the guy in the house. Remember, we just passed this house a few moments ago. And nothing was happening. I didn't hear anybody, didn't see anybody. So when I approached this house, 
and listen, you hear that very, very faint buzzing. Hold on. Right there. Transmitter. I got duped. The guy ran back here, put a transmitter in that house, and it's either running back up the map or taking that exact exit right there. And I don't know which one's the right case. I don't. Normally, I don't hit the detector in any match you go into. Normally. Because if you be patient enough, people will reveal themselves. And right here, I'm cursing the fact of how I don't have a radiation grenade. Again, I walk right past the guy who I shot with my bugle, and I still forget to loot him. I check the safe to see if there's any grenades in there, and there isn't. Well, shit, that sucks. And I'm going to walk out. Oh, well, hold on, I'm going to loot this guy right here, too. And, yeah, that, that should be okay. Actually, no. I'm going to take this bomb and again I'm gonna walk right past the guy that I killed and I keep forgetting to loot him I don't know why I kept forgetting to loot him but it's whatever now the end of the game has sounded off and I'm watching that airdrop symbol and I'm watching the area that I see everything's still everything's calm for now for now then I realize I'm in the most desolate part of this map and I'm nowhere near an exit. Well, I say that all I gotta do is keep walking this way and I can find an exit. But ideally, at the end of the game, you're gonna be either planning, well, no, you wanna be starting to think about heading for the exit that you pre planned or doing what you plan to do in terms of loot. Once radiation hits me, I'm gone. But then I realize. This exit is open. He ran toward the house, put a transmitter down, fooled me, then ran back past the container and opened up this exit. Once I checked the map and I seen that exit was open, I was like, okay, I'm alone. And so I got the airdrop. Good thing I didn't radiate it. And I left. And that's the story of how I reached level 63 in season 12. Hooray. Only just barely though. And I got three kills. And I believe one headshot. All well and good. All well and good. Like I said people. I think when I play. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time. Peace.